Are these pictures evidence of an otherworldly encounter? Financial executive Janae Rickwalder thinks they might be. Here's her story. I was at a conference in Savannah and we just impromptu decided that we were going to take a uh, ghost trip. They had this trip where they were like, you know what? We will take you to the most haunted places in Savannah. And we went to a couple cemeteries and, you know, they tried to scare us and we weren't really buying it so much. Then they took us to what they called the most haunted house in Savannah. And of course I was like, whatever. That house was the Sorrel Weed House, a famous landmark that was the boyhood home of a Confederate general. Robert E. Lee visited there on multiple occasions. The opening shots of Forrest Gump were filmed on the house's roof. So it's got some history. I thought, you know what, I better take some pictures for my husband and my son because they're gonna, they, they'll be interested in seeing this. So I'm taking pictures and the tour is over at this point in time. The tour guide has done, he's moved on. And it's just um, a group of us that are just walking out around randomly. And um, I just, you know, took some pictures and I noticed a swoosh and, I, and I'm like, what, what the heck is that? And at first I thought my eyes were just playing tricks on me. And when I looked at the picture, there was actually, you could see the swoosh in the picture. And I'm like, oh, no way. So I kept trying to take pictures to see if I could recapture it again and again and again. Couldn't capture anything, but I'm seeing in my phone, I'm seeing lights and I'm seeing dust. And I'm seeing, and I did see those orbs. And I always thought that was a load of crock because, you know, I'm like, no, you're not seeing, but I saw them. And so I'm freaking out a little bit. So I call my friends to come over and, and, um, and they, uh, I'm like, look, can you see this? Can you see what's going on? They're like, oh yeah, whatever, Janae, you're full of it. So then I said, you know what, you guys, you need to come look through my phone. So they came to look through my phone, like, oh my God. And they started seeing it. And then all of a sudden there was a bright orb back here in front of me, a bright orb on the other side, and one that started coming towards me. I took a picture of it and then I hightailed it out of there because I was just like, that's freaky. That's what I caught on camera. So that was really kind of cool. A representative from Savannah Terror says this sort of thing isn't as rare as you think. When I first started doing these tours, you know, we had a, we always asked people at the beginning, you know, are you believers or are you skeptics? You know, we usually get about half and half. They're a little bit balanced. Um, but as we start giving the tours and we get to the end, it actually happens more often than you think, even for the skeptics. Rick Walder says she wasn't scared by the incident, but it did help her rethink some things. This experience has converted me to believing in the great beyond. Maybe the moral to this story is don't be so uh, beholden to your beliefs because they might not necessarily be completely true. This is Inside Edition, Dot Ghost.